Okay, everybody, I get asked this question all the time. How do I take care of the chemicals in my hot tub? I've never done a video on this before because there are so many answers. So I'm gonna give you one of the easiest answers for the particular hot tub that I'm working on right now. Now, this customer in this hot tub is using bromine. I personally do not like bromine, but for this demonstration, I'm gonna show you how he should be taking care of this hot tub. See the outside cover of this? See how you can see it's a light brown? You see how that's uh, blue? He is putting in way too much chemical. That would be the first thing I would see the minute I get here. Because the water should be blue, but the side of the tub is being bleached because he's putting in way too much. How do I know that? This is the chemicals that he's using. He's using a total bromine kit and he's using bromine. Now, if you go to the back, it'll show the hardness, which is one thing I'm after that causes problems. That tells me when I come out here as a spa tech, how often you're changing your water, okay? The hardness of the water. The next thing is the total bromine. That's gonna tell me, or the total chlorine, depending on what you're using. That's gonna tell me how much bromine or chlorine is in the water. And then you get down to pH and so on. But I'm after the top two. So, how do you do this? You're gonna open it up the top. You're gonna take your test strip out. Just one test strip. Make sure it is dry. Close the top. Do not get water in that, otherwise you will ruin the rest of your test strips. You're gonna take the test strip in your hand and you're gonna hold it under water approximately 10 inches for about 10 seconds. So you hold it under water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just get it close. Okay, when you pull it out, kind of, I'm gonna hold it over here. You're gonna to go to the back. When you go to the back, you're gonna go and you're gonna find out where it's at. Okay, you've got an okay right here at 250 to 500, 1,000 is high. Look how dark that purple is. This thing is off the charts. That tells me the water in this hot tub has not been changed in a long time. And they're putting in way too much chemical. How do I know that? I'm gonna go down to, bro uh, down to the total bromine. Okay is over here where it's almost white. White would be real, real low. Then you got okay, ideal, high, very high. Well, uh, this one is either very high or it's off the charts again. So that tells me that this homeowner is putting in way too much chemical. How do I know that he's putting in too much chemical? Not only from this, not only from looking at it, but he's got this floater. This thing is completely filled up with bromine tablets. Now that's fine, but the thing is, the minute your water hits the okay, which means you need to come out and check it once a day, once every two or three days, and the minute it hits okay or okay, this needs to be taken out of the hot tub. This does not sit in the hot tub 24-7, 365 days a year. If you're doing that, you know, I really like working on hot tubs and you will keep me in business. My goal in producing these YouTube videos was so that I could take vacations here and there. But if you guys, you homeowners, you viewers, continue to overchlorinate your hot tub, I promise one of two or three things. One, you're gonna keep me busy as well as every other spa tech. Two, you're gonna be doing damage to your hot tub. And here's the biggest one, the damage is not only, it's not really gonna damage, it's just gonna, you're gonna be replacing parts quite often. Sensors, heaters, seals, okay? But here's the third one, and this is one of the most important ones. Mama is not gonna wanna go in the hot tub because you're gonna overchlorinate it, you are gonna dry out her skin, you're gonna mess with her hoo-ha, and she ain't ever gonna get in the hot tub and neither are your friends. So, learn how to use this, it's not hard. There are all kinds of articles out on the internet. I'm not gonna get deep into how to do it, but you need to check your chemicals at least once a week. I mean, do it every Sunday, do it every Wednesday, do it before Super Bowl Sunday, whatever sport you're in. I, I know I'm harping on this, but you need to check your chemicals. This hot tub is costing this homeowner between six and $700 to fix all the sensors, the heater, and everything that's wrong with it, all because, A, he didn't change his water. So now I've got to empty all the water out of it. I got to get his chemicals up, up and correct because he's having a huge party in the next 24 hours when it could have all been solved by checking your chemicals once a week and not using one of these filled up. 
if you're going to use one of these you still have to check your chemical and pull it out so with that i'll see you guys on the next hot tub i hope this helped i sorry for uh harping on you guys but over the last two months i can't tell you how many i've had to do all with the same problem have a great day everybody